Welcome to Small Aid. This is a really, really short introduction video on how I center my lathe. I'm going to show you how I center my spindle versus my tail stock, and we'll see how to get these properly aligned. Now, this is not the best method by far. Tubal Cane, aka Mr. P222, has shown better ways. I'm going to use these in the future, but for now, this is my go to method. This First of all, you need these. These are centers, precision centers, really tough steel. Factory machine, you'll need to buy these. You can make these, but you'll need to buy these. Now, this rod is something I made. This was taken off a printer. Right, that's acceptably clean. Now, in order to center the laid spindle and the laid tailstock, to get a concentric line, and in order to get really turning round bars and not cones or ovals, you need these. You need hardened steel centers. They're supplied with the laid. We're supposed to be supplied with the laid, or were originally supplied with the laid. If you don't have these, buy these. Technically speaking, you can make these on a lathe that's well centered. <laughs> but they're basically ground. So you want them nicely ground, perfectly centered, and so on. So, and of course, I drop these. So I'm going to insert these, making sure there's no grit and grime, just like you've seen before, that on the tool or inside the spindles. And now we have two centers. I'm going to release the back end of the tailstock so I can swing the head back and forth. I also like to get the pin out. It kind of induces stresses during this process, so I like it out. Later on, once done, we'll insert it back in. And now the head can swivel. I'm going to lock again, but gently, not inducing any strength. And now I can swing it, but it's a bit tighter. And now we're getting to the crucial part. This is a 6mm shaft taken from a printer. Uh, printer shafts used to be turned to high precision. Still looking for one of those. The um, pin printers used to have those really, really precision made shafts. Now, this is by far not the best method. This is my go to method. This is the method I use currently, but I do intend to use some of the methods Tubal Kane mentioned in his videos uh, in the past. And I will post a link to those videos over there down below. So I'm going to extend the tail stock, tighten it, not too hard, not too intense, just like 0.01 millimeter uh, turn, slight angle, just slightly locking it, not too intense, and now we can start measuring. Now, I will make sure that we're properly situated. We'll lock it a bit further. And how do you know that? Because the pinhole is aligned. And we'll just gently lock it. And now I can't swing anything. Adjust my indicator. So we'll touch the center of the rod and plunge now it doesn't matter where I stop because this is not the centering point now unlike most lathes where the head is fixed and the tail stock is adjustable this is reversed the head is adjustable and the tail stock is fixed it's a cast aluminum so I'm going to run all the way back over here this is a lot of fun I could have used a motor there. 
actually something I'm thinking of by the way installing a small motor over here that runs back and forth we'll see about that okay I'm going to zero this we're on zero and back we go now this is why it takes me a long time to center the lathe and this is why I hate turning it into a mill so I really turn it into a mill only when I have to when projects require it and there's no other way to do it so uh, you get my point and we'll be doing it several more times I'll speed it up for you okay so we're way way off center okay I'm going to stop at one centimeter over there you can see we shifted by 35 hundredths of a millimeter uh, 0.35 millimeters that's that's considerable so let's release it I'm going to move this over back to zero I'm going to need both hands because as I lock it it will try to move I'm going to there you go it moves and we'll lock it again tighter and let's see the fact that the head swings changes the entire angle of the rod so it will change our zero over here again so that's why we have to do it several times till we're just finally adjusting it and there we go you can see that shift ready at 0 0.02 millimeters 0.03 millimeters so that's going to be our new zero let's move again okay on zero back we go <laughs> not that bad we're at 0.05 millimeters deviation let's unlock this again and try to reach the zero again I'm gonna try and do this by while well, I'm being able to show you this okay uh, that's tightly locked and back we go okay that was really good we're on zero over here we're on zero on the other side and you can see there's a slight belly here now you can see we're off the zero now and that's because the bar is bending a bit because we're applying a slight pressure from the tailstock and there's a balance between applying a slight pressure and not at all then the bar is free and loose and between over pressurizing it and then it really bends you can see a considerable kink okay so we are on zero point I don't know. Let's get to the edge. 0 0.05. And that's acceptable for me. 0 0.005 millimeters. So basically, this is zero. This is uh, as zero as this indicator can test. I'm sure we can get a more accurate indicator. I do have more accurate indicators. I'm not going to bother with that. The spindle itself has now a 0.01 millimeter sway or shift, so that's more than accurate. I'm going to order a new set of bearings and washers and whatever else needed, so this can run as true as possible. Now, that being said, once I do that, I will want better centering methods. Or accurate centering methods and we're going to make those so that'll be another project so that's it these are going into the box and I'm done
the lathe is centered we can put the chucks back in and that's it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed have a sweet day